All right, so now that we've finished decoding El Toro's journal, we can solve some puzzles. I've seen a metal rod that height, the one Cuckoo the parrot is perched on. Hey, let's ask Cuckoo if we can borrow it. Cuckoo? Hi, Cuckoo. Wow, what an elaborate perch. Cuckoo, ah, perch. Want to see a trick? Sure. A trick for a treat, a trick for a treat. Quid pro pro. Ah. And by treat, you mean? Pro. Cuckoo wants pro. Pro, pro, pro. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Just so we're clear, if I give you some fruit, you'll do a trick? You got mm -hmm. it, sister. So let's ask about the perch. That's a really interesting perch you got there, Cuckoo. Nice perch, nice perch. Cuckoo, ah, perch. Yeah, well, the thing is, I kind of need it. Look, how about I trade you that perch for an even nicer one? Treat for trade, treat for trade. Cuckoo wants fruit, 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 fruit. Fruit? Uh, why am I not surprised? Okay, let me go get Cuckoo some fruit. You can always get some fruit by beating the monkeys at one of their games. George is a dumbhead! George is a dumbhead! I heard that. Hey, that's not very nice, Cuckoo. I've got a treat here. Now, what kind of new perch would you like? Treat first! Treat first! Boy, howdy, that was good. Cuckoo on driftwood. You want a piece of driftwood for a perch? Driftwood for perch! Driftwood for perch! Ah! Okay. Well, ciao for now. Bye-bye. Now you know where you can find driftwood? Well, on the beach, obviously. So you can go to Sangre Beach. You can go to Shark Cove. I believe I even saw a piece of driftwood near the Blue Hole. So let's pick up uh, one at Shark Cove, just because it's the closest. Let's see how Cuckoo likes this for a perch. Here you go, a nice new driftwood perch. Cuckoo is kind of cute when she turns upside down. Not right, not right. What? Uh, What's wrong with it? No bark, no bark. Cuckoo wants perch with no bark. Oh, a perch with no bark? <laughs> Cuckoo's upside down again. I'll see what I can do. Cuckoo wants no perch! Now I'm pretty sure that each time you play the game... See you later, Cuckoo. Bye-bye. Cuckoo wants a different kind of perch. So, uh, the kind of perch you have to get probably differs from game to game. Let me go back to Shark Cove and get a new perch for Cuckoo. One that doesn't have any bark on it. Let me see, here's one without any bark, right? There we go, let's see if uh, Cuckoo likes this one. George is smelly, George is smelly. Look who's talking. Wow, Cuckoo doesn't like George very much, does she? I have another perch for you. What do you think? Cuckoo love it. Hand it over, hand it over. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, okay, take it easy. All right. I think this could be the one. No perch! No perch! Very nice! Now that you have a new perch, I'll take your old one, thank you. Oh my gosh, these headlines are about cases that I help solve. What's going on here? Wow, yeah, this is from White Wolf of Icicle Creek, this is from uh, Phantom of Venice, and this one is from Danger by Design. Wow, that's very interesting. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Pretty May bird for the pretty bird. <laughs> Maybe the villain in this game... See you later, Cuckoo. Hasta la vista. Maybe the villain in this game really is from one of the other games.
Oh, by the way, here's that map I don't think I showed you. This is the map that shows you how to drive around Dread Isle. Okay, got that? Now that we have Cuckoo's Perch, I bet you're wondering what you do with it. What you have to do is drive all the way to Bat Steep. I believe it's this way. The Bat Steep is at the top of the island, so you can go either left or right. I wonder what that blue thing is. Huh. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks kind of like a stop sign. I don't know. Now, just to recap everything, just for all those people who uh, did not do the exact same route of gameplay that I did, when you climb up the mountain, you get to the top, you'll find that there are monkeys blocking the way. The monkeys are saying some strange things, so you have to go back to the Shark Diving Ecotourism Resort and press all the buttons on the exhibit on the monkeys there. When Nancy does that, she finds out that they're talking about a specific sea urchin. The sea urchin is found near Brain Coral, so when Nancy goes scuba diving in order to find the buried treasure, you can pick up the sea urchin at the Brain Coral, so you can give it to the monkeys. Giving it to the monkeys means the monkeys go away. And you can go to this area at the highest point of Dread Isle. We can put in Cuckoo's Perch, and we can put in this thing to form our very own Astrolabe. See this little thingy here? See, it says right here, from the highest point of the mountain, found a view most worthy. Do to do the astrolabe guides the way to a flying dove in a watery grave. Here are the directions. Let me show you how the directions work. The north-south one, 40 down, 90 up, 150 down, 60 up. That leads to Half Moon Reef. Wait, what's that? Huh? It looks like somebody's moving through those bushes way across the island. Whoa! Could it be the kidnappers? Well, in any case, the puzzle was 40 down. 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can tell, each one is 10, right? 40 down. Then uh, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 150. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 60 north. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You look in through the astrolabe. That must be Half Moon Reef. And Nancy sees Half Moon Reef. So that's how that puzzle works. So let me just skip all the work and go straight to Dove Island, which is at 70. Hello, Dove Isle. All right, so now we found two more islands that Nancy can sail to on her sailboat. That was the point of solving that particular puzzle.